Welcome to the show. There goes the music. Okay, well, oh. tonight's topic, global gloom. Can music make a sad world smile again? Oh, that's the topic. Let's get into our first story of the night. Thank you guys so much for being on the show today. Oh, you're welcome. And We're glad to be of here. Course. <clears throat> Let's get into, oh man, I got to show you about Elmo here. Wait, what's wrong with Elmo? Well, I don't know if you've heard about what Elmo did, but he tweeted. Here, let's oh. hear about it. Here, listen. Hey, NBC <laughs> News plug right there. All right. Next up, Elmo, our little red buddy, is going viral for being a good friend. Earlier this week, he tweeted, Elmo is just checking in. How's everybody doing? You probably regret asking that question on social media. Those nine words dropped, of course, opening up a floodgate of tens of thousands of users on X, unloading their emotional baggage <laughs> on the three-year-old Muppet. One person simply replied, Elmo, we are tired. <laughs> Another writing, Elmo yeah. girl, I'm having a quarter-life crisis right now, and I can't get my stuff together to finish this last <laughs> semester. I'm mentally burnt out, and I have a lifetime of working to go. <laughs> But it wasn't this last semester. I'm mentally burnt out, and I have a lifetime of working to go. But it no, wasn't all doom and gloom. That was gloom. Snore Bunny. Yeah. <laughs> Chance the Rapper chimed in. Honestly, I'm in a really good place right on Oscar. Oh, well, of course you are. Chance. I don't know why. Yeah, 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 Chance. You get it. I, I, feel bad I think you get it, what's going on there. Okay. So Elmo tweeted on, on X, Twitter, or whatever. Hey, Elmo here. How is everybody doing? <laughs> <laughs> and, and then, then everybody, everybody trauma dumped on him was like i'm not doing good elmo things are pretty bad in the world you're elmo. my therapist elmo mm -hmm. yes and everybody <laughs> trauma you got more than he asked more. for that's for sure oh you always do on social yeah. media but i think yeah. I, I don't know i think it kind of speaks to like this is elmo this is like the the puppet that's supposed to make you happy and everybody's so sad i mean Coming out of COVID, everybody forgot how to be friends with everybody and how to be socialized and stuff. And now we're all lonely and we can't connect with people and nobody understands why. How, how do we get yeah. out? David Byrne has had a website to make people happy. Uh, things, to, things, things to be hopeful for. I think. No, it's reasons to be cheerful, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, there's there's also, isn't there like a book that's like a hundred a hundred things to think about to be happy right away? Oh, oh, we want that book. book. Let's, yeah, I'd like that book. <laughs> we could and use also it. Maybe, yeah, and maybe this was the beginning of like some social, some social aid Thing that Elmo's doing, where he asks people how he's doing, and then is there a tweet after that where he was like, "Here's how I solve your issues"? No, no, qu Ava, quite the opposite. It was. <laughs> oh no! It was like, "Wow, Elmo heard from a lot of you, or something." <laughs> Have fun, like basically, not my problem. Oh. <laughs> so okay, wait, wait. So guys, like right now, I'm learning about nonviolent communication, and there's two types of responses in there. There's empathic and non-empathic, and that is okay. super not. That's like a super A grade non empathic response. Mm. Like I'm not even going to reiterate your emotions. I'm just going to say bye. Like well, I mean, we got to remember there. There's like a human being behind the social media post for Elmo, and I am sure that Sesame Street was like, "Oh wow, this is bad. We can't <laughs> get involved in this." Oh my god! <laughs> so I, I mean, at the end of the day, it's a business decision too. They got to, you know, but I, I feel like they they could have leaned into it and, and gotten a lot of goodwill out of it. Because, wait, um, Barry, you know the whole story. I, I'm a little fuzzy on it. But the day after, didn't Big Bird tweet back at him that he was he was feeling a little sad, too? Yeah, dude, Bert, Bert from Bert and Ernie got in on it. Big Bird, I think Oscar, like all and the president tweeted the Trump? president tweeted wait biden or Trump? yeah he's like he's like i i understand what you're saying there elmo and Trump uh, wasn't president. we all gotta look out for oh. each other elmo <laughs> uh <laughs> yeah we gotta look out for each other um I, so i don't uh, i mean i guess they might have leaned into it after the uh non-empathetic elmo response <laughs> i don't know but i don't think they expected any of this to be honest it's sesame street you know what i mean they're probably like what are we going to do here? 
Wait, you know, they, they ended they, up. Mm -hmm. There was no, there was no, no, no. something that I, you you thought they had learned the lesson because wasn't there that AI chatbot that was supposed to be really nice and then people started commenting and it started saying all these racist things. Well, they no. shouldn't be laughing. Trained on. <laughs> no, the the AI she's talking about. Yeah, it was like a Twitter AI and it it went racist in like four hours. I think like the because it was learning quickest. it was learning from people's comments. It was learning mm -hmm. what to say from people's comments. And the comments so, weren't good. The comments were not good. You know, so, oh, you know, man. okay, so we, you, you know, you bring this up, Barry, and Elmo has opened the floodgates and everybody seems to be sad. So mm -hmm. I want to know, like, how does music help this? Because I feel like music has a, 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 I don't know, almost a responsibility to get us through hard times. Not like, you know, cause we are be we are able to tap into that songwriting and those lyrics to find a connection, right? And I think that's what we're all missing. That's like this Elmo tweet shows us that a lot of connections have been broken. So how do we use music to find those connections again? Uh, okay, well, um... I would agree with a lot of that, although I think from an artist's point of view, we don't have a responsibility for anything other than to make our art, right? Okay. And how people receive that art or music or whatever it is, is up to them. So, you know, depending on the song, it can be uplifting for people. A lot of, you know, other people might hate it. But I mean, as a songwriter, you put something out into the world and uh, I guess if you're really concerned about commercial um, aspects of it, then you do worry about it. We've never been like that. I mean, we've had our commercial successes, but we also have 40 years and eight albums worth of, you know, what people now call deep cuts. They used to be just other songs on an album. But anyway, but, you know, people will bring themselves to the music. I don't think we, we have a responsibility and even if we did i don't even know how we would control that you know like we hope I, I guess we would say uh you know we hope that some of you like what we do and if you hate it it's fine too you know it probably means you're doing great art if you're if you have that kind of polarized reaction uh the song, the song echo beach was a was our big hit and so many people told us that they got, got so much out of that, you know, which was very rewarding and helped them through a hard time. So that's great. Yeah. And, and, you know, when I wrote that song, I had no idea what I was doing whatsoever. <laughs> and I, you know, to, to have that reaction is quite mind blowing. And, you know, we're, we're actually uh, honestly forever grateful about that. But, you know, and it, it gave people and it has given people a lot of joy over the decades. So, you know, in a, in a way, you're right, Joe. It's, it's just that we didn't control it. <laughs> we don't. I, yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, but that's a good, you know, I'm, I'm not a, a, a songwriter. I, I'm not creating art like that. So, um, Joe, yeah, you that, are it's a Muppet. good. It, I, I, I needed that perspective. Yeah, Joe, but you are a Muppet, so there. Well, there's that like, come on, it's true. It's true. <laughs> I want to. Okay. No, yeah, I was just gonna. On, I was just gonna piggyback on um, on what was just being said there, and 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 that's congrats on the hit. That's like amazing. Um, I, yeah, I think I think there's a I, I think there's a healing power in knowing we're not alone in a situation, and having somebody else have the same emotions that we're having. I mean, I've had mm -hmm. moments, and so it's not necessarily music needs to be there to uplift the spirits, but it's more like music is the way that we can feel we're not alone in a feeling. So, I mean, I don't know how many times I listen to, um, I've got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. You know, <laughs> that's not a particularly <laughs> uplifting song, but it got me through a mm -hmm. lot of moments where I was really angry and I needed to express that anger and, you know, wave, like emotions are like waves. If you, the, the only way out is through, right? If you try to That's suppress true. it or have like toxic positivity, positivity on top of it, you know, it just comes out in other ways. 
Um, so yeah, I love love Joe's question. Yeah, my my Rage Against the Machine is my angry music. That's gotten me through a lot of tough patches in life. Let me tell you. Oh yeah, that would get you through some stuff for sure. 